Hey guys, how are you? I long time no chat. I am coming to you from 2022. It's April. How is it April already? And I recognize that I haven't put out any videos yet this year. A few reasons for that. <laughs> the first reason is I actually filmed a vlog at the end of January and I've been waiting this long for the brand to approve it and it hasn't been approved. So yeah, that's, um, that's happened and I don't think it's going to go ahead. But anyway, bit of a life update. Daisy started daycare in Feb this year and it just took me a while to get the hang of the housework and like getting into the groove and like being able to you know go to the shops by myself she goes two days a week for the first two weeks i just like literally cleaned and maybe one day i went to the shops after i dropped her off and then um unfortunately um at the start of march um we lost dean's stepsister um which is like so it's just absolutely devastating um and we only had the funeral, I think it was two weeks ago. Um, and um, yeah, that's just, it's personally really shaken me. She was, um, she was only 24 and um, yeah, it just, as someone myself with mental health issues, <laughs> it just, it just, it cuts, you know. Um, yeah, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her and her mum. And um, yeah, so that has been a really big factor in me taking care of myself and not not putting out videos. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I have been trying to do some fashion related content. I haven't been very successful at it <laughs> because of everything else. Also, I feel like I used to have more time to do stuff when Daisy was younger because now she needs me to play with her all the time. She actually is going through, I think, the peak of her separation anxiety. If I am holding her and I put her down, she will lose it. If I leave the room, she'll lose it most of the time. Like, even this morning, I was trying to, like, after I got her up, I asked her if she wanted breakfast and she said yes and I said okay mummy's gonna go cook you breakfast and then she just lost it um several times it took me probably like 20 minutes a good 20 minutes of playing with her to try and get up to go cook her breakfast um <laughs> so yeah but all in all like I love being a mother I love seeing Daisy grow I just I just love the shit out of that little girl, which I think is why um, the thought of, you know, losing your daughter at only 24, like that's why it's just, oh, that's why it hits her heart. Like, I mean, you just don't expect it. You don't expect it at all. Um, yeah, Daisy takes up a lot of my time and then I find when she naps, I have to do all the housework, all the washing, all the folding, all the, vacuuming mopping everything but yeah she's 16 months now she's walking she tries to run <laughs> um she's turning into such a beautiful little girl um very strong-willed like another example yesterday i had my cup of tea sitting on the bench going cold <laughs> as it usually does and <laughs> i was playing with daisy i'm like okay daisy can mommy go have a sip of her tea no no <laughs> Literally, she does the fingers. No. <laughs> when she is not having a good day, she was sick recently with an ear infection. We watch a lot of Miss Rachel and Jules. Um, if you didn't know, there's a YouTube channel called Songs for Littles. And it's recommended by, who was it? Like an occupational therapist or something I think I saw on TikTok. Someone recommended it. And Daisy loves it. And this is <laughs> one that if you watch it, you know what I mean. There's this song where they sing like, monkeys jumping off the bed and then at the end Miss Rachel goes no monkeys no jumping off the bed no 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 <laughs> now Daisy goes no 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 <laughs> with the finger pointing um and it's just so gorgeous being able to see her <laughs> like do these things and say things and words and it's just so cute I don't know like it 
baffles me how mothers who do vlogging and are daily vloggers, I don't know how they do it. I literally don't know how they do it. Like they must stay up. Like, I know how they do it. They don't have a life. <laughs> After the kid goes to bed, they probably edit the vlogs, whereas I need that chill out time, personally. We've also gone on a few family trips this year, which has been so amazing. I made it one of my goals at the end of last year to make more time to, like, get away and, um, you know, create memories with the family. It's really important to me and Dean to be able to do that um, so I can probably say that we've done that this year and I just I guess with Daisy like I just want to be present with her so I'm hardly on my phone I just like to take my time away for her. I guess after being on social media for and sharing so much I do really like to step away from it at times and just yeah have time off of social media um i tend to just i know that seems so weird but i know that there'll be some of you that can relate like as you get older you just don't have the time for it it used to be literally my whole world like i would wake up the first thing i would do would like check my youtube comment comments and check how my videos go on and i can't remember the last time i even did that <laughs> obviously i haven't put out a video in a while but even last year when I was uploading, like, I don't, I just, yeah, I've had other priorities in my life, which have been so fulfilling for me to become a mother, and it's just so rewarding seeing that little girl turn into who she is. Oh, I just love her so much. I'm so obsessed with her. Like, when she goes to bed, I, like, say goodnight, and I know that I'm going to just miss her. Um, even though it's nice to have a break because, <laughs> you know, she needs a lot of attention, but I just, I miss her. Like she's at daycare now and it's like 3.30 or something and I'm meant to pick her up, I say around 4.30, but I'm like, maybe I should just go pick her up now. <laughs> I did share on my Instagram like a few months ago that I started doing keto again. Um, I've lost 10 kilos. I did last week i had a really bad week i started my period but the leading up to starting my period i was just like a hormonal mess like hormonal emo mess i'm sure that like i don't get like that every time but like this time i was just like i just felt so depressed i felt so depressed last week but I did start back yesterday. I just realized it made me eating crap, like makes me think foggy. Like I just have a brain fog. Like I can't see clearly. I can't concentrate. I don't feel motivated. And when I eat, you know, like keto, I'm not doing strict keto. I'm just doing like lazy keto or dirty keto or whatever. I feel so much more focused and motivated and just I can think clearly. It's by far the best diet that I have ever done and you see results pretty quickly. I do have a clothing haul that I filmed like, I don't know, a month or so ago that I have nearly finished editing, but I haven't finished. So I will put that up probably after this. Yeah, check out my Instagram if you wanted to see updates. I don't get on there like a whole lot, but like when I remember, and like today I filmed a little Kmart haul reel because I went to Kmart and bought a few things. You know, I love doing little things like that. Um, and I just really am getting into the more like fashion related content. I've just recently changed up my whole look kind of thing. Um, you'll see in the clothing haul. But yeah, as it's coming into autumn now and the cool weather, I'm just like, oh, I need to like change how I'm dressing because I yeah need to work out jeans. But I tried on some jeans today and I need jeans with front buttons. And um, they don't make a lot of them. So if you've got any recommendations for front button jeans, like instead of the zipper for, you know, the mum tum, <laughs> let me know. I do have some business vlogs coming. Um, I, oh yeah, that's what else I do as well. I pack orders when Daisy sleeps. Or, you know the days off or whatever and yeah I have some vlogs coming soon I haven't been a whole lot focused on Dashmo just because of everything else going on I know last year I just jumped into it and gave it everything that I had and right now this year I just needed to put myself first because if I don't do that then there's nothing else left 
if I don't take care of myself. But yeah, I think that's a little update for now. Um, thinking of your I haven't forgotten about you. Um, sending you guys so much love and um, I'll see you soon. Bye!